Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We are in episode three out of our series on contest day expectations. What, what are you relying on to improve your look as you're hitting the stage? And we finished up episode two talking about water. Of course, you can't talk about water without sodium and carbs, which are the two main solutes that really direct where that water is going to go in your body. So I have a, a client competing this weekend and we've been doing a progressive linear load at him. And we started out because he was actually, you know, at his lowest, he was probably no, no less than 250 or so, maybe 225 grams of carbs. We started peak week around 325. Now he's been at 350 for a couple days. Uh, tomorrow we're planning 450. And then we have to decide on Friday if we're going to stay at 450 or maybe even go higher. That's what I was talking about in episode one of, you know, how far do you push being aggressive? But uh, water, of course, has been the same. You know, we want water to go in that muscle tissue. So I'm using carbs to bring his glycogen levels up as high as I can, as full as we can get without crossing that spillover line. But in his mind and in mine, this is the final variable. This is how we manage these last couple of days is going to dictate the level of fullness and tightness. And it's a big responsibility. It's a, it's a, there are a lot of things to manage here. So how, how do you express this to your clients and, and how do you manage all of the different nuances leading into each person's individual contest day? Yeah, that thread of photos is so important. So the client communicating often you know, if they miss a night set of photos after all foods in or morning set, it can really leave you in the dark, right? Because, well, I know you ate that food, but I have no idea how you looked after you had it. Um, and sometimes with clients, I might ask for a couple more photos, you know, let's do five or six photos a day. Let's see. Um, I've even gone as far as testing glucose at night to just see how they're assimilating the carbs. Are they gaining in the muscle tissue? And there's obviously variables that make that not perfect, but that can be a second benchmark for me to look. Uh, but I, I love what we're talking about because I'm so passionate about it. And I think we all feel our skin kind of a tingle and we get that excitement of like, this is the final move that's going to matter for show day for this person and it's make or break. And uh, I get to experience that on Thursday, Friday night, depending on the metabolism with most of my clients. And, uh, you know, it really does come down. Uh, I've always said in these situations, uh, you can't trust what you don't know. And uh, I'm always cautious on, you know, um, being too aggressive. I think a lot of people turn this into an eating contest versus how you look. Um, so I always like to have a uh, good responsibility. And uh, I'm never going to be so far off the mark that I'm like Thursday or Friday, oh crap, you're really flat. We must do, you know, 300 more carbs now. Um, that's just really irresponsible management leading up into the peak week. So um, a lot of what we decide those nights before relies on what we do the days prior. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love what you just said there in terms of being a little cautious because you don't want to get into that, that role of being the person, the, the coach who pushed them too far and you can't recover it. And, and as I told my client, you know, look at how you looked eating 200, 250 grams of carbs. Now you've been at 325, 350, 450 all week long. You know you're going to be fuller. Now what we're leaving the door open for is on contest day to use sodium and water, which are going to be way faster, way more predictable, and you're not going to have that spillover to your point, Adam, of just trying to shove carbs that you can't even assimilate. So I said, trust me. Uh, other coaches I know would tell you, hey, man, let's, let's throw a thousand grams of carbs in now Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you would spill over to some degree. And then you would have to try and retract that. And usually they're going to do that by, you know, cutting a little bit of water. Now you have to taper carbs back. So now muscularly you're getting flatter, but you're still dealing with the spillover. And I said, it's just the same nightmare that, that, was in traditional peaking for the last 40 or 50 years. So mm -hmm. 
you, you, I, I understand wanting to push it as far as you can, but we're going to talk about, uh, you know, sodium and water and, and maybe even increasing those on Friday as well as Saturday. You know, I may send you out for some takeout or some higher sodium food Friday evening if I feel like we really need a little bit more. But by then, the, the carb train has left the station. More carbs are just not going to help. I wanted to touch on two things after that. A lot of people do think when you spill over, it's just going to come out from underneath the skin, which it does, but it also does retract from the muscle tissue as well. So even though you're getting tighter, you are getting flatter as well. Um, so that's important to note. And uh, I actually just had a great conversation with a client. We've been um, linear, linearly loading for about four weeks now, and I have definitely reached her glycogen ceiling to where I'm just kind of pivoting up and back. And uh, I told her today, I said, I just want to let you know, your peak week is not going to be very exciting. Like <laughs> you've kind of been peaking really this whole board. time. I said, just kind of look for that to be kind of the same. I said, I know that's boring and maybe seems a bit generic, but I said, you know, this is how you look versus how much you can eat. And of course, she understands that. Perfect, man. Well, well said. Well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna move into a couple different topics and close this series out. So we're gonna talk some about tanning and some things like that. Uh, expectations you may have on how you're gonna show up and look, and uh, we're gonna talk about the good and the bad. So we'll see you next time.